October's Respiratory Sensational Virus, or RSV, Awareness Month. The time to bring awareness to the signs of the virus that impacts thousands of infants every year. 25 News reporter Bain Froney live from the newsroom this morning with more on what to look out for and how you can protect your own children. Bain, good morning. Joey, good morning. That's right. Now, RSV is one of the leading causes in hospitalizations in babies. And with colder months on the way, family holidays coming up as well, health professionals want the community to be aware of the signs so they can keep their kids safe. RSV is one of the most common respiratory viruses, which usually just shows up as common cold symptoms in adults. But for babies, it can be life threatening is extremely dangerous to the babies um, and it can cause you know them to actually be admitted to the hospital to require a breathing tube. RSV results in over 80,000 pediatric hospitalizations every year and according to the CDC it's the number one cause in bronchiticulitis in children which could lead to respiratory distress and the danger is that it is easily transferable but most adults aren't even aware that they have it. If you're loving on new babies kissing new family members babies um, playing, holding, touching without some really good hand hygiene, you could potentially pass it to them. Some of the signs that your baby could have RSV is if they are having a harder time breathing, not wanting to eat or drink, or have thick mucus. There's no preventive kind of vaccine yet, which that's in the works, but um, not really anything big that we can do to help protect our little ones. According to Paige Pollard with Baylor Scott and White, RSV is one of the most common viruses that they have seen in the pediatric wean in the winter months. But this year, things were a little different. We actually saw a huge peak in RSV between about May and July of this year. Um, it was like our winter time normally is. And I will tell you, it's probably one of the worst seasons of RSV in that time frame that I've seen um, in, a, in a while. And while health professionals aren't sure what will happen in the upcoming months when it comes to RSV, they encourage the community to be extra careful around newborns as we approach the holidays. Wash your hands. Make sure that we're using really, really good hand hygiene. Um, you know, if you're going to be around a newborn or an infant and you're okay with wearing a mask, then go ahead and do it just to help protect that baby a little bit more. Now, doctors are encouraging the community to continue getting their regular checkups, especially at this time of year. If you have any questions in regards to RSV, to ask your doctor. In the newsroom, Bain Froney, 25 News.